All right, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be covering all of the tones of the A flat diat- diatonic scale. So you have A flat's one, B flat's two, C is three, D flat's four, E flat's five, F is six, G is seven, and A flat's the one. Okay? So on the one, we know we can play this as a major chord. So you're going to have the one and the five in your left hand. It's A flat and E flat. Right hand's going to play just a major chord, A flat, C, and E flat. Okay, so you got the major chord. You can make this a sus two, but instead of playing that three, change it to a two, which is B flat. So A flat, B flat, and E flat in your right hand. Left hand stay the same. And again, we can change this to a sus four by instead of playing that three, which is C, play the four, which is D flat. So A flat, D flat, and E flat. All right, and then again, you can fatten up the major chord always by playing the one, three, five, and add in the second also known as the ninth is the seventh for present, okay? So you have major, right? Sus two, sus four, and add the two, okay? So that's some things you can do on the one. Also, you can make this a major seventh chord by finding the third scale degree, one, two, three, and playing a minor chord. So C minor is C, E flat, and G, right? And then you can play around with the inversions there form your major seventh chord you can also form a major ninth by playing one two three four five as a major chord so e flat major is e flat g and b flat and that gives you that major ninth type of sound okay and then we know because i'm playing a major chord i can use the chordal chord trick right what's the chordal chord trick that means that you find the third second seventh and sixth scale degrees and you can form a quarter chord using those so let's look at the third one two three is c so the c quarter chord is c f and b flat how do i know that start off with the c because that's the third scale degree go up four if i was in the key of c major go up a fourth one two three four is f play those together and then if i was in the key of f major go up a fourth one two three four is b flat and that gives you your quarter chord voicing off of the third scale degree. So you can do that off of the three, off of the two, right, which is B flat. So B flat, E flat, and A flat. The three, two. Then the seventh is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is G. So G, C, and F is your quarter chord there. And six, which is F, B flat, and E flat, okay? So all together you have that off of the third, second, seven and six scale degrees and that's some options that you can do on the one in the key of a flat major all right let's look at the two that two is going to be a b flat okay and we know that according to the number system the two is typically minor so i can play just a b flat minor b flat right left hand's playing b flat and f right hand's playing b flat d flat and f a regular minor chord you can make this a minor seventh by finding the one, two, flat at third, right? Third tone of that B flat um, minor chord and forming a major chord. So that would be D flat, F, and A flat. And you can invert it, all right? To give you some different voicings there, right? So you can make it a minor seventh. And you can also make it a minor ninth by finding the one, three, and fifth scale degree and playing that as a minor chord. So F minor, F, A flat, and C over that B flat, D flat, and F. Gives you that sweet minor ninth sound, okay? And then you can also play a minor 11th. How do I find the 11th? You find the one, three, and five, go down a whole step from your root, whole step down from a, B flat is A flat, and form, an, a mi- uh, and form an a major chord, rather. So if I play that A flat major over that B flat minor triad, it gives me that B flat minor 11th sound. All right. And then, you know, you can play some quarter chords here. I'm off of the two. So it sounds pretty good. So C, F, and B flat. And then off of the one, B flat, E flat, and A flat. And the one I'm talking about in reference to the chord that I'm playing. So the one in the key of B flat minor is B flat. So B flat, E flat, A flat is that quarter chord. The two in the B flat minor is C. So if I wanted to play a quarter chord using the two, I'm referring to that C quarter chord. Okay. So 
So that's some things that you can do on the second scale degree in the key A flat. Let's look at the third. One, two, three. That's going to be the C, right? So typically the third scale degree can either be major or minor. It can be a landing tone or a passing tone. We'll look at it in terms of a landing tone and we'll get into passing chords in another lesson. All right. So on the three, we know we can do anything basically that we did on the one. So I can play a major chord, A flat major, A flat, C and E flat. I can make it a sus two, A flat, B flat, and E flat, right? Now, if I were to invert this chord, the sus two in my right hand, if I take that A flat and put it up to the top, now I have a quarter chord voice and that's a whole step down from that C. So here's a C, a whole step down is B flat. So you can also play a quarter chord that's a whole step down from the uh, root when you're on the three. So that's B flat, E flat, and A flat. Sounds really contemporary and open. Sounds nice. Okay, so recap. You can do C major, sus two, right? You can even do the quarter chord. You can do a sus four, but it sounds a little weird that C clashes with the D flat. So I probably wouldn't do that unless I was intentionally trying to introduce that type of um, dissonance. Okay, so I'd stick around here. Now, that's how you can make it sound like a little bit more like a major voicing. Um, you can also make this a minor, okay? Because a three according to the number system is minor. So C, I can perform a C minor, C, E flat, and G, all right? And then I can start expanding this or extending this chord, and I can make it a, ma a minor seventh. How do I make it a minor seventh? Find the flat at third, one, three, that third tone of the C minor scale. And making that a major chord. So E flat major over that C minor, E flat, G and B flat. That's the E flat major in my right hand over that C minor in my left. Gives me that C minor seventh sound. And I'm just inverting my right hand with that E flat major. That's why you gotta learn all your keys and you gotta learn all your inversions. Cause then you can start really building some fat chords. Okay, so that's the minor seventh. I can also make this a minor ninth voice and by finding the third, uh, by finding the fifth. So you got the one, three, and five, which is going to be G. So I can make a G minor chord, which is G, B flat, and D. And that gives me that nice minor nine sound. And you can go back and forth, seventh to ninth. So that's a minor ninth sound. You can also make this a minor 11th. How do we find the minor 11th? Go down a whole step from the root. So if I got C minor in my left hand, whole step down is B flat and form a major chord. So C, E flat, G, B flat, D, and F. I'm not thinking of those individual notes, though. I'm thinking C minor in my left, down a whole step, and form a major chord. So to the 7th. The 11th, right? 7, 11. All right, so that's some things that you can do on that uh, C minor on the third scale degree of the key of A flat. Now, we also know we can do the quarter chord thing where you're all on the one from a quarter chord. So that's C, F, and B flat. Or you can go up a whole step and form a quarter chord, which would be D, G, and C. sounds pretty nice. So that's things that you can do on the three. Now, if you're enjoying this content and you're finding this to be helpful, make sure you like, click, and subscribe to the channel. That way you can receive updates for when new content is posted just like this. Trust me, you want to do that so that you don't miss out on some great content. All right. So again, that was a third scale degree. Let's look at the fourth. One, two, three, four. It's going to be D flat. Typically the four according to the number system is major. So I'm going to form my major chord playing the one, the five, and the one. So D flat, A flat, and D flat. My uh, left hand, right hand is going to play the one as major. D flat, F, and A flat. You can make it a sus two. But instead of playing that F, play the E flat. All right. You can also make it a sus four. But instead of playing the F or the three, playing the sus four, playing the four, which is G flat. So D flat, G flat, and A flat. And you can play around with it. Sus two, sus four. Sus2, regular, sus2, sus4, sus2, regular, all right? 
And then, of course, you can uh, fatten up any major chord by playing the one, three, and the five, but adding that second. Okay, so that's an option too. Okay. All right. So you have that option on the four. Now, the four again is typically major, so we can make this a major seventh chord. We can start extending it. How do I do that? I find the one, I find the third scale degree, which is F, and playing that as a minor chord. So now my right hand's playing F, A flat, and C. That's basically that F minor chord in my right hand over that D flat major in my left hand, and that gives me a D flat major seventh, right? One, three, five, seven, and then that's just the three and the five is doubled, okay? Now the cool thing is I can just move that F minor around. And you gotta learn your inversions, okay? So that's how you get that F, uh, that D flat major seventh sound. Now I can make it more like a D flat, a major ninth by playing the fifth scale degree, one, two, th one, three, and five, right? So that fifth scale degree and forming a major chord using that. So A flat major, A flat, C, and E flat. Okay. So A flat, C, and E flat over that D flat major. So now I'm looking at the one, three, five, seven, and there's the nine and the fifth is just repeated. just moving around that A flat major in my right hand okay that sounds pretty all right so that's some things that you can do on the four okay um, now let's look at the fifth five one two three four five is gonna be E flat typically five according to the number system is major so you have E flat G and B flat right you can make it a sus two E flat F and B flat all right that's some things that you can do okay and then also, um, you can make this, you can do the quarter chord trick again because this is a major chord. And I, I need to go back for a moment. So on the four, one, two, three, four, you can also do the quarter chord trick, meaning I can play the quarter chord that's off of the three of that D flat. So one, two, three, the three, the two, the seven, and the six. It works on that too. So if you're on the one, three, four, so you can do that quarter chord trick too off of that. So off of the three of D flat, it's going to be F. So F, B flat, and E flat. Or off of the two, is going to be E flat. So E flat, A flat, and D flat. Off of the seven would be C. So C, F, and B flat. And then off of the six would be B flat. B flat, E flat, and A flat. And those numbers are in reference to, I'm acting as if I'm in the key of D flat temporarily. So the three of D flat, two of D flat, seven of D flat, and six of D flat. And then you go back to your your one. Okay. So let's apply that same concept to the five. We talked about how it can be major, right? You can do a sus two. E flat, F, and B flat. So instead of playing that G and playing that F, right? Then you can do the quarter chord trick on the five too, technically speaking. So off of the three, if I was in the key of E flat, one, two, three. So G, C, and F, right? Off of the two, F, B flat, E flat, off of the seven, D, G, and C, and off of the six, C, F, and B flat. And that would work. Just depends on what you're going for, okay? So you know that can be a major chord. Now on the five, typically it can be used to take you back to the one. And there's a few ways that we can do that, okay? I'm not gonna show you all of them, but just a few. So on the five, you can also play the four, if I'm in the key A flat, one, two, three, four is D flat. So I can find a D flat major. D flat, F, and A flat. It takes me back to the one. So I'm playing the four as a major chord over that five. And it takes me back to the one, okay? Another thing that you can do is you can play, let's see, um, you can play the four as a major seventh. So one, three, five, and seventh, or D flat, F, A flat, and C. Takes you right back to the one. So again, you can play the four over the five, make it a major seventh. Another thing that you can do is make this a diminished seventh off of the four. So D flat, E, G, and B flat. So you're on the one. Four over five, 
right? Make that four diminish sevens and go back to the one. So that's some cool ways to get back. Now, another thing that you can do is find the third one, two, three and play a major chord. And it sounds really sweet. So you're in the four, four major, three majors. That's that C major, C, E, and G. And it sounds good. Now I would probably never do all of those at the same time, but I'm just showing you an example of what it would sound like, right? So you got the four, the four major seventh, right? The four diminished seventh, the three as a major chord. Really tense, it's pretty. So that's some things you can do. Another thing that you can do on the five is you can play some portal chords. That gives it more of a West Coast flavor. So what am I doing here? I'm playing a quarter chord off of the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the G, I'm forming a quarter chord off of that. So G, C, and F. And it sounds nice. What's my left hand doing? I'm playing the one and the five. And then I'm giving it more of a dominant type of sound by playing that flat at seven. And we'll talk about dominant chords later, but that's what I'm doing. Right? And then my right hand's going to go down the whole step. So G, C, and F is going to move down to F, B flat, and E flat. All right, one more time. All right, so that's some ways to get some more contemporary types of sounds and movements and voices and things like that off of the five. So now let's look at the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be F. All right, on the six, you typically want to play this uh, in contemporary types of songs. You want to play the four over it as a major chord. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four is D flat. So I'm going to play a D flat major, D flat, F, and G flat, or A flat, rather. D flat, F, and A flat. Right, or you can make it a sus two by playing it. Instead of playing the F, play the E flat. D flat, E flat, and A flat. And then, of course, if I invert this and change that D flat and put it up here... Now I have a chordal voice in my right hand that's essentially a whole step down from my bass. A whole step down from F is E flat. Right? And this is a good voice in if you're going from the 6 to the 7 to the 1. Okay? Or 6, 7, 1. Okay? Or 6, 7, 1. Right, so that's what you can do on the six. If you want to give it that major sound and you want to walk it to the one, or if you just want to go for that major sound altogether, those are some options of things that you can do. Now, also in CCM music, the six is typically going to be minor. So you have an F minor, F, A flat, and C, right? And then of course you can extend it by playing a minor seventh. So one, find that third, that flat at third, and form a major chord. A flat, C, and E flat will give you A flat major. That's how we get some nice two-handed voice in, right? So that's your F minor seventh. You can make this a minor ninth by finding the fifth, one, three, and five, right? So the five is C, and form it a minor chord. C minor, C, E flat, and G. Gives you that minor nine sound, right? And then, of course, you have the minor 11th, where you go down a whole step from your root. So down a whole step from F is E flat and forming a major chord. E flat, G, and B flat. That's on the minor 6, right? That's that minor 11th off of the 6 is what I was referring to. All right. That's things you can do on the 6. Let's look at the final scale degree of the A-flat major scale, which is the 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is going to be the G. The 7, you can make this have a major sound by playing the 5 over as a major. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is E-flat. So play an E-flat major, E-flat, G, and B-flat. All right. Right? Or you can make it a sus2 by instead of playing that G, play that F, E flat, F, and B flat. 
kind of gives it a sus two in your right hand feel is what I'm referring to. Of course, when you add that G in the bass, it changes the chord. But I'm thinking in my right hand, sus two. Okay, so E flat major, E flat sus two, and then if I take this E flat and invert it up uh, one inversion, now I have F B flat and E flat, which is a quarter chord. So I can look at this as a quarter chord, a whole step below my bass, right? So G is there, a whole step is F. So I have F B flat and E flat there. All right, so if I put that seven with the six that I just learned, right? Six, seven, one, or six, seven, one, or six, seven, one. Okay, so that's some things that you can do on the seven. All right, so now you have some chords that you can play, give you more contemporary, more fatter, two-handed voices for different tones of the A-flat diatonic scale. Want to make sure that you go home and practice this. For more great content just like this, click on the video at the bottom of your screen, and I'll see you in the next video.